Hello Knockouts, Tanya TKO here. And today we're going to be discussing this post by Randall Jordan where he's talking about what type of woman you should be. There were a lot of people that sent me this post and I wasn't able to do a video on it before but I did post it on my Facebook page. But I'm doing a video about it right now and this is going to be a podcast style video where there really isn't going to be anything visual for you to see. So just go on ahead and start washing up your dishes or vacuuming your floor, or going for your long drive because because we're about to go in. As you know, I am Tanya TKO and I'm a self-love specialist from tanyatko.com. I help you learn how to love yourself and each other. On this channel, we use viral video topics as teachable moments for self-loving or self-abusing in our own lives. And I want to and I want to make more posts like this where I'm just able to just come out and then just start speaking. So if you all know of a podcasting station where I could get paid for my craft. Let me know so I can jump on over there and you can join my podcasting over there so that we don't have to worry about all of the rigmarole on some of these, these video broadcasting platforms. But speaking of which, make sure that you are subscribed to me on Facebook and YouTube because I do upload videos on both platforms and not always the same video on each platform. And on Facebook, we have a lot of discussions like these and I'm doing these. Right, so let's jump into it. Just as a warning, I do read with theatrical emphasis. So if you don't like theatrical emphasis on your reading, then my channel is not for you. And I'm actually going to begin blocking people who start asking me why I read the way I read. I read the way I read because I enjoy reading this way and other people enjoy it too. So if you don't, then you are in the wrong place, babe. So let's jump into it. Be the woman that'll help fill our job applications. The woman that'll help open up our bank accounts. Just to save and get him on his feet. The woman that'll tell him right from wrong. The woman that'll plan things to do just to keep him off the scrapes. The woman that'll help him go from nothing to something. The woman that'll motivate him and make sure his head is always on straight. Be the woman that down through it all. <laughs> listen, 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 listen. Oh my God. You know what? There is a woman who does stuff like that. There is a woman who will do that. And that is the woman that pushed you out her pussy. That woman is called mother. And even some mothers, once your child get to a certain age, she don't want to be doing that anymore. It's like, how old is son right here? He's talking about be the woman that'll help fill out job applications. Nigga, you can't fill out your own job applications, that, which means, bitch, you ain't got no fucking job. What is it that you're doing? I want to know, what is this man bringing into the situation? What is he bringing into the relationship? It's like, and, I, and, I, and I'm curious, what is it about going into pussy that makes them think that some woman is supposed to be the type of woman that pushed him out of her pussy? What type of Oedipal ass shit is this. This is what I want to know. So he's like, be the woman that'll help fill out job applications. The woman that'll help open up a bank account, mother effa. You ain't got no bank account. What is it that you are doing with your life? You was pushed out into the street out there and come upon a woman and have nothing at all to be able to offer her than some mediocre dick, a loaded penis, and, 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 and what broken dreams and bubble gum and three quarters of the time, these niggas is fresh out of bubble gum. So what is it that the woman is getting out of this situation? We've already spoken about this and I've shown you all the article over and over and over again. I want you to go Google, Google the inheritance of black poverty. It's all about the men. And take a look at these sad ass statistics because we have so many women who are so shamed and so ashamed of quote unquote being alone that they will put up with all of this type of fuckery in order to be able to say that they have a person. Say it with me. A person with a pioneer. All they want is a person with a pioneer at home. And late, look, look, I get it. There's so many of us that are so disconnected. 
and and disregarded, disenfranchised, and displaced from male affection, that we don't even know what proper nutritive male affection looks like. So that we're out there paying to have a person with a pinus. Just be with us, oh please, person. Bring your pinus. I'll give you everything. Because it starts long before the situation even arises. It starts in the home where there is no happy, healthy example of romantic love between a man and a woman. So that you go out there in the streets and you don't really know what it looks like and you're under the guise and governance of lost ass men who didn't have healthy men inside of their lives. So they mimic the relationship that they had with their mother onto you. Because if you follow behind, if you as a woman, if you think about all of the directions and guidance that you receive from men for what it is that they say that they would like and want, you'll be out there like a chicken with your head cut off, running here and there, splaying your legs wide open up in the air for them to jump in and out and then leave you with all types of babies and disease and then go off to the next one and do rinse, repeat and do the same thing. It's like as a woman, though, so look. In the black American community, there's a lot of issues that we have that are stemming from slavery. Yes. However, how much longer do we continue to perpetuate this? How much longer do we continue to bring children into broken home situations? How much longer do we continue to offer up our wombs and our bodies as a sacrifice to men who they themselves don't know what the F they're doing? How much longer... And I'm telling you as womb men that you are the one who is going to have to top from the bottom. For those of you who are in the SNM community, you know what topping from the bottom means where the person who is the dominant one thinks that they're the one that's in charge, but it's really the person who is, who is topping from the bottom that is really controlling the entire relationship. We have so many men out there. And when I talk with you all about, oh yes, be submissive. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Give the guise of submission while you're really steering the ship. Because half of these mother effers out here don't know what the F it is that they're doing. He wants a mama. He thinks that having a mama is going to be what gets him to where it is that he needs to be. Meanwhile, let's read this thing again. Let's, let's talk about this. So he's talking about all the things that he wants you to be that type of woman. Help him get on, the, on his feet. Tell him right from wrong, mother effer. What? As a grown ass man, you don't know right from goddamn wrong. The, the woman that'll plan things to do just to keep him off the streets, nigga. If you don't know how to keep your ass out the streets, what makes you think that you're equipped to be anybody's husband or father? And you know what, ladies, especially black women, so many of us are shamed from being able to require and demand more of men that we have men like this telling us what it is that they need from us and us so eager to please in all of our in all of our new, our nurturing glory are going to jump up there. Yes, a baby. Let me help you. Meanwhile, B, what's going on with your life? When we talk about poverty being inherited down from black men here in this country, black women who are in poverty are on par to release themselves from poverty at the same rate as white women. Until go, go to the website and look at the graph until you align and tie yourself down with a black man who comes in with all of these childlike expectations of you being their surrogate mother. Listen, in the household, we talked about this on my Facebook page, in the household, there comes a time in every young boy's life where he realizes, oh, I am not like mommy. I have a little lingy swinging down between my legs and this little walnut here, right? And they realize I am not like mommy. I am like daddy. And that's when they separate from mother because all children are connected to mother. They think that they are mother because they started out in mother's body. So when you come, when the child comes outside of mother, the child does not understand the separation between him, her, or mother. They think that your breast is an extension of their body on the outside, feeding them the same way that they were fed from the inside. But during the natural and necessary stage of development, boys need to break away from mama and follow papa.
But when there is no papa in the home, when there is no, like this nigga right here, what type of papa he going to make? If you look down on the other side, homeboy talking about lunch date with my daughters, which mean this nigga has already spawned. He's already brought other daughters out into the world. He's brought female children into the world, which means he's showing them the idea of manhood through his behavior. And then the cycle continues. Ladies, when are you ever going to be able to rest in your feminine with a man like this? So you got a man like this inside of your home teaching a boy how to be a boy by sucking and siphoning all that it is that he can suck and siphon from mama. Meanwhile, who is pouring back into you? You're breaking yourself down for these men. For what? Offering up your neck like the sacrificial doggone vampire vein for them to just come and leech on to and, and suck and, 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 and siphon from. Meanwhile, you left there an empty corpse down on the ground with nothing left to give for the next nyaka. Then you find yourself up on the radio like Kay Michelle talking about men, uh, men just aren't good people. Meanwhile, you've allowed yourself to be sucked dry so that there's nothing there left for the man who is going to be able to come in and be able to be king, man, head of household so that you can go ahead properly like the woman that you are and top from the bottom. And be able to control and guide that relationship in the way that a woman controls and guides a relationship. Because at the end of the day, men are very rudimentary. They're very good at building and hammering and all that other stuff. But the finesse, a lot of that finesse, the, the intricate stuff is guided by you. However, you're going to have to choose a good man that, that's intelligent and knows how to lead and cover the family. This N-word right here, what is he leading and where is he leading you to? And then when he finishes and gets all that it is that he needs from you, he goes off to the woman who never had to see him with his holy underwear, or his holy socks, or down and out begging bum Billy, hoping and, 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 and with a dollar and a dream. He goes and he finds the woman who he truly can cater to and adore. And then he leaves you right there where you are after you done poured all into him. Ladies, let me ask you a question. For those of you out there who have ever dated a bum ass man or a man who just wasn't right, who was off. What was your life like after you, after you were in this relationship with him? The trajectory that you were on gets doggone sidetracked by being in relation with this bum ass man. So that where it is that you could have been, we talked about this in the John Gray situation where this man was talking about how she was going through labor pains to birth his big behind ass. And I'm like, well, where could she have been if she wasn't out there pushing some big 400 pound man through her pussy? Where would she have been inside of her life? So while this man is needing a person to open up a damn bank account for him and all this other stuff, w w that energy could have been best served on herself. And it's like, ladies, we need to wake the F up that we got so many of these lost ass men out here trying to guide us into where. And you know what? There's so many of us out here who are going to be freaking loyal to the game talking about the be the woman that's down through it all notice the word is down not up so that you lower yourself and you get down into the pig pen and you roll around in this damn mud and shit for them rolling and splashing and splaying around trying to hold them up mighty king head of household that you have to wipe his own damn ass and then when all is said and done, where could your life have been? So it's like we're under this whole societal, oh, you can't get no man. That's why you can't keep no man. If this is what it takes to keep a mother effing man, you need to lose him. You don't need this. You don't need this. And there's so many of you out there who think that this is all that you can get. It's like you need to take the time to go and fix yourself up on the inside. So did you learn to love yourself? So did you put the pieces back together inside of yourself? So did you attract a high vibrational man? Because there's so many of you out there wallowing around with these backward ass niggas that you're not even available for a high caliber man. And the fact that you even entertain this bullshit shows where it is that you are in your own level of development. Go and get therapy. 
Go fix the stuff up on the inside, the brokenness that existed from being in a household with a mother who had stuff against you, who babied and coddled the boy so that you learned how to baby and coddle despite all of the, the, the feelings of infractions that you felt on the inside, that you go out there into the world and you baby and coddle some man out there. Listen, there are amazing, wonderful men out there who will take care of you and cater to you and, and, and create a house and a home for you who are responsible with their seed. But you have to be the type of woman who feels that that type of man is a compliment for her. That that type of man is a good match for her so that you go into a situation without all of the drama. And instead of being like, oh, this is boring, you are enthused and invigorated from being able to have a high vibrational life. But you got to fix that vibration inside of you because look, like we said, this man has already spawned and he created two daughters at least two daughters. We know that he's out there with his daughters right now. And it's like black women, we have got to fix our self-esteem. We've got to fix our self-esteem. And part of fixing your self-esteem is knowing you are worth. And if you don't know your worth, you are going to have to do the things to step into your goddess essence to be able to create that worth. So that you don't sidetrack yourself and your life to be able to put some man upon some pedestal. So that he goes out there and he's like taking and taking and taking, siphoning from you, vampiring off of you. And then when he find the, the little, the, the, the slim goody with the good hair and the, and, the nice, and the nice little body and the nice skin. The one that he thinks is superior to you. The one that he feels is on par, which is a compliment to the type of man that you created him to be. You think he's going to be loyal to you? First of all, first of all, the fact that he is holding you down in this situation, talking about be down through whatever, so that of course, of course, who wouldn't want this? Of course, they want somebody to help pick them and push them up because it benefits them. But baby, you need to ask yourself, how does this benefit you? Lift up your head, queen. Sister, lift up your head. Stop holding your head down in the brokenness that existed in there from, from your childhood. Learn to love yourself. And if you don't know how to love yourself, listen, I wrote a book. The Book of Affirmation Self-Love is on my website, tanyatko.com forward slash shop. It's also on Amazon. If you go to amazon.com and you just search for Tanya TKO, if you search for Tanya TKO Self-Love, it's right there. The book has amazing reviews. It shifts and changes your whole life. So many of us have, we're so busy pouring in from the outside that we don't pour from the inside because we're, we're, we're under the trick and the guise that has been taught to our mothers and our, and their mothers before them. Oh, what you need to do to keep a man. And if you remember, many of our grandmothers couldn't do better. And even still to this day, the word of a man is worth much more than the word of a woman. I will tell you something in a video and then you take a person with a penis to tell you the same thing and you ooh and ah and fawn all over the man telling you that. Because we still worship men. We worship the words of man. R meanwhile, we don't realize that goddess is what births everything. Goddess birthed man. We are the ones and it's like we look, we are the ones who control culture and control society, but we're so busy being underneath the guise of men, having them lead us into the dismal abyss that we don't take the time to really hold up our heads as queen and goddess and make this society the way we want it to be. This world would be a lot different if goddess rose into her true position of power. We got men out here sex trafficking children. We got men out here acting the fool, guiding relationships by and dropping off babies here and there, wanting to do the bare doggone minimum and still have access to the highest quality, highest caliber women so that they can do what? Drop their seed into them and leave. If you allow a man to bust you wide open, and deposit his kids in there and be gone he will the wrong type of man will and it's like as a woman you thrive when you are in a situation where you can truly rest in your feminine but it takes the right type of man it takes the right type of man to be a cover for you in that relationship 
to be able to protect and provide for you. It takes the right type of man, but it also, as you, it takes you being the right type of woman in the right type of space to be able to be open and available for this type of man. Like there are people, like when K. Michelle said, and I'm going to do a video on that. Like when K. Michelle said that she just doesn't feel that many men are good people. I thought I knew exactly what she was talking about. Because if you look at the way that we have allowed the toxic masculine to run rampant on this God darn earth. Though if you see the way that we have allowed them to chop down our trees, burn down our forests, dig up our lands, put pipes down in the ground, send our children over to other countries, kidnap women and, and, and kidnap children, molesting women and girls inside the sexual assault and all this, that and the other. Um, the, some And then capitalism and the rampant crony capitalism and people over here being billionaires while there's hungry people sleeping on the streets right outside. And if the way that we have allowed toxic masculinity to destroy this earth if goddess mother really truly rose up controlled our womb and who it is that we gave access to procreating this world would look a lot different this bum ass man with no bank account has two doggone daughters at least how many of you want out there want to bet that he got more kids than just than Oh, wait, he said date with my daughters. We don't even know how many doggone daughters. He probably has a legion of them out there on the on the doggone quote unquote date with him while he's using some woman's money to be able to pay for the pancakes for his kitties. This is not a uh, not is not a true man. This is not a man who has risen to the mantle of manhood and is resting or not not resting because women rest in their femininity. Men rise to the mantle of manhood. But we have so many black men in this country who have been bifracted and, and dissected from their, their essence as man, that they're running around out here thinking that you got a good deal as woman. Oh, why can't I rest in my masculine and have a woman take care of me? Why can't I? Because, nigga, you ain't got no womb. You got a prostate up inside your ass. You do not have a womb that brings forth new life. And there's so many of us that don't understand the power of the womb. And we really need to get back into our magic and our, our magic as women. Bum ass niggas say I hate men. When it's actually quite the opposite. I love men. I just really don't have time for the bum ass niggatry. And if I didn't believe that there were good men out there, if I didn't know that there were good men out there, I wouldn't, I, I wouldn't, I would just be like, oh, give up, go be with women or go accept bums. But I know that there is an alternative to this in the same way that K. Michelle was like, you know what, when I'm approached by women in the ways that men treat them, my eyes are opened up to what's out there because I was raised in a house with my daddy and my brothers where I learned a certain level of manhood. And that's the same type of thing that happened with me. I learned a certain level of manhood in my home. But when I started making these videos and I started reading letters from women and I started looking around on the internet and then I made the mistake of joining some doggone black dating groups and then saw all of the, the niggle tree going on in there with all of these men trying to put out feelers for who will accept less and dumbass black women jumping up like rabbits i will i will point the point the point the point give me less i'll take that fried chickens on the carpet i'll eat my spaghettis out of the buckets i'll do it and it's like women we control every single human being that comes in here on this earth. We control whether or not we feel that this person is good enough to spawn. We control that. And there's so many people out there who are trying to control women's wombs. That's what it's really all about because men feel cheated that they don't have the opportunity and the ability to be able to control whether or not their seed gets born. Because if they could, they would saddle you with a whole bunch of kids that they don't have to do shit to maintain. That's what they would do. Like this man over here rewarded with being able to spawn and nigga doesn't even have a goddamn bank account. He doesn't even have a damn bank account and he needs somebody, a mother figure. 
somebody that he could fuck in the time being until he finds the type of woman that he truly wants. So he's jumping in and out of your pussy until the woman of his dreams comes along and now you um, built, built him up into the man that may be acceptable for her and then he'll still sit there and complain and whine and feel the fribulations in his heart every time that he's rejected by the type of woman that he knows that he's not good enough for so that he stays idling and wallowing around with you. Meanwhile, you could have been making yourself better for the type of man that you truly want, the type of man that you would want sons like. I read this book once and then we're going to get out of here. I read this book once that said, if you're dating a man, ask yourself, would you want a father like him? Would you want sons like him? As women who controls who comes onto this earth, would you want to produce children into a household with a bum ass nigga like this? And you know what? There's going to be a lot of men who are going to listen to this and they're going to be like, oh, Tanya, you hate men. You ain't you this, that and the other bounce, bitch. This, these videos ain't for you. Get the F off my channel. Bums like you only bring dust into the world and I'm allergic. I'm allergic to your damn dust. So get the F away from me. In my private life, I attract high caliber, high quality men who all have money. I don't attract broke bums. This is how I know that they're out there. But ladies, you're going to have to, like some of the things that we think are requirements. Oh, he has to be a certain height. He has to be this. He has to be that. I'm telling you, broaden your horizon. Look at the character and the caliber of the man and whether or not you would want a father like him or a son like him. Because tall people do have short children and short people do have tall children. But while we're so busy looking at the external, oh, he got a big dick and some swag. Oh, but he ain't got no bag. I made a course called Will My Man Be Wealthy? It's a course for, for women, especially black women who don't know the cues and clues to look for. Because like I said, I'm allergic to dust. When they come near me, I have my, my, my sinuses get all clogged up. Something ain't right. But I can feel it from a mile away. No matter how much it is that they try to pretend, I feel it. I feel it in my spirit. Oh, I just feel it in my bones. Me feel it. And I start getting, my eyes start watering my, my sinuses and I start sneezing. And my spirit says, rebuke him away from you. And I rebuke. And I open up and I leave the path open for somebody who's really about something to be able to step in. I don't wallow and waste my time. How many of you have been at the dance twirling around on the dance floor with some bum that you really know that you that ain't nothing could be there with, between you all? Meanwhile, the handsome man walk out the door because you was twirling on the floor with some with some man that you knew that you didn't really want to be with. And the handsome man, you see his back as he's walking towards the door, but there's too many people in the way now you can't even get to here. Listen, I'm going to get out of this video, but ladies, level up, level up, goddamn, level up. And on that note, I'm going to get out of here, Tanya TKO, and I'm out. Go out there and love one another, but most importantly, love yourself. And love yourself enough to know that there are many, and listen, if you are interested in mating with a black man, look, honey, I get it. But remember that there are many different types of black men out there. So open up your horizon. Look, there are many different types of men out there. Open up your horizon and give a chance to a man that you may not have given an opportunity to before. Because you got these black men out here running around like they the black unicorn going with their horn poking here and there or high and mighty. They the prize and they want you to win them and you jumping through hoops. Yes, a massive lemon jumps. And you jumping through hoops to get to them when it's them who are supposed to be courting you. You over there, if I don't do it, another woman will. Well, let her. Let her be the bee that'll do that, not you. And on that note, I'm out of here. Loving yourself is leveling yourself up, fixing the things on the inside so that you can attract the type of man that you want for you. And on that note, I'm out. Peace.